good afternoon and thank you all for coming out on this beautiful Saturday afternoon. We are very thrilled to have John Aaron Reese here for our opening grand show. My name is Jen Boyd Martin. My name is Myra Block Kaiser. Jean Ann Fowser. Laurel Ryan. Jolie Hossack. Han Din. And I'm chair of 108 Contemporary. Along with several other wonderful creative people, we formed this organization over 10 years ago, but we are celebrating our 10th anniversary now. My favorite thing is our dedication to the most innovative um, craftsmanship in contemporary craft. We formed 108 Contemporary because no one was showing contemporary craft 24-7 here in Tulsa, here in Oklahoma. We needed to show this art. We needed to show off Oklahoma traditional arts. There's a great underappreciation of fine art and fine craft in people's daily lives. Everybody, whether you're an artist or not, has done something with craft. And so I think it's a really good way for people to connect with art. Any of the underserved communities that 108 is focused on um, bringing craft to them when they can't come to us, I think that's really incredible for an organization of our size. We have our Shop 108, which offers local Oklahoma artists the option to bring in work year-round and try out different processes and craft mediums that they want to see what sells, what works, what they can play with. Something that I'm proud of is not only bringing in these big-name fine artists, is our working with local artists and putting on our members exhibit and putting on vision makers, which we now have in a regional area. That's an important accomplishment and I think we'll grow that and we can do even more with it. With my job at 108 Contemporary, I get to help with the Any Given Child tours, which bring in sixth grade students from across Tulsa to experience fine craft. Each student that comes in gets their own craft kit that gets them interested and gets them, gives them a hands-on experience to the craft medium that is displayed in the exhibition. A one-string lute, your classic silhouette um, self-portrait. Macrame. Had I ever done macrame before I decided that this was the craft kit? Of course not. about 108 is the community surrounding 108. It's been a real privilege to get to know each and every artist that's been involved with us um, on a more personal scale. One of the important things I think we've done is partnering with local organizations. One of them is Women in Recovery. This exhibit, Web Incarcerated Women, was the first time we really uh, it was incorporated uh, their pictures and their stories in our um, gallery, and we continue to do that to this day. Art serves as an expression that is often unavailable to people who um, are just trying to get by, or are um, they might not have time or resources. And so a lot of these creative outlets that allow for community building, craft especially, is a community builder. And so I think that both on a community building scale of people um, having that time and space to work together and to learn about each other um, is so important, as well as learn to hear each other's opinions to disagree and to still enjoy what they're seeing, what they're creating, what they're looking at. I believe our accomplishments over the last 10 years have been in creating more opportunities for our local artists to show their work. And that's our mission, is so that they can support themselves and, and not move out of the state in order to sell their art. Something that I've been really pleased by is to see the support that 108 Contemporary has 
uh, shown for black and indigenous and artists of color. And I've seen that both in our hiring process and also in the exhibitions and the focus on making sure that non-white artists are represented in this, in this gallery and to see the number of people who, when they see themselves represented, our audience expands and our programming gets better and everything gets better. One thing I'm most proud of is just being able to see the direct impact of what we are doing to our audience, especially where you're seeing people in vulnerable populations that are exposed to the types of crafts they may never have access to. And it's giving them such empowerment and fulfillment and an outlet to um, build their strength within their challenges. Um, and that's something I really love. Happy 10th anniversary, 108 Contemporary. Happy 10th anniversary. Happy 10th anniversary. Happy 10th anniversary. Happy 10th anniversary. <laughs> Happy 10th anniversary, 108 Contemporary.